And now joining me live, Northwood University President and economics and political expert, Dr. Tom Duncan. Thanks for being here. We Michael. appear as though we're going to avert default. The votes will still roll in tonight, but it's a short-term punt. Government funding only until mid-January. A debt ceiling increase only takes us to mid-February. For the average American, your take on this short-term deal? Well, I think probably the average American's happy that the government finally got together, both sides, and, and reached a deal. Uh, the capital markets, though, will be happy for a few days, but uh, the fact that we can't seem to solve this problem long-term going forward is going to be a little bit of a drag, I think, on the markets. And, and talk about that. We already saw a credit rating agency yesterday. Fitch yeah. said we have you on review for yeah. a possible downgrade. Right. What about the aftershocks? And to people watching this at home, what can that potentially mean for them in the weeks, months, and years ahead? Well. Fitch uh, is the credit rater sure. and others, uh, they're going to look at it and they're going to say, do we think there's any chance of uh, the government getting their kind of act together on a, on a medium to long term basis? Uh, they're going to keep watching. For the average American, the, the danger for all of us is, uh, is interest rates. If, 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 the, if the government uh, uh, credit is devalued, interest rates, interest shoot, rates up. shoot up. And, and every and loan we want for every, home, every auto, car, college. Every, absolutely. Everything goes up. And so that's the real fear. Political science is your background and passion. Why are we so dysfunctional at this point? People talk about gerrymandered legislative districts, the media machine in this 24-7 age. Your take, and do you think we can emerge from it somehow out of what we've seen the last few weeks? Um, I think that what we're seeing is that the, the country really is sort of divided about 50-50. There are a bunch of people in the middle, but about 50-50. Uh, and uh, in terms of the proper size of government, the proper role of government, should we be having health care or not health care? at the federal level. So I think these things tend to be solved over time through elections. And I think a lot of people are waiting for the congressional elections in 2014. There's a whole bunch of people waiting for the new presidential elections three years from now. Bottom line, more bruising fights ahead in the next few months Ab in your view. Absolutely. These same issues are going to just keep uh, bubbling up day by day, week by week. We'll have you back to talk about them. Northwood University President, Dr. Tom Duncan, thank you so much Good. for being our guest.